Hey there, and welcome back to Living in Durham Region with Rob. If you clicked on this video, it's probably because you're interested in moving downtown. And I don't mean Toronto, I mean downtown Whitby. And today, we've got a great video for you. We are going to cover the location of downtown Whitby, some things to do in the area, what are the homes and demographics like, the schools, and at the end of it all, we're gonna wrap it up with a driving tour to give you a better idea of what it would feel like to live in downtown Whitby. Hey everyone, it's me, Robert Marsiglio, sales representative with Keller Williams Referred Urban out here in Durham Region. Before we get into the content, I wanna let you know, if you have any questions about this neighborhood, about Whitby, about Durham Region, about the GTA and beyond, please call me, text me, email me, whatever works best for you. All the information is in the description of this video and I love helping people just like you learn more about this awesome part of Ontario. Now let's get right into it. Downtown Whitby is truly located right at the intersection of Brock Street and Dundas Street, but the area we are going to cover today goes as far as Ann Street to the west. The train tracks really across the top to the north. We run into Hopkins Street over here to catch this little pocket of this neighborhood, and then we'll call it, you know, kind of the 401 being the southern boundary. There are all sorts of homes in downtown Whitby, everything from your suburban two-story homes to older century cottages and bungalows. There's townhomes and there are even condo buildings, some being built as we speak. This northwestern quadrant is really some of those older century homes, some of those bungalows. Whereas relatively newer developments can be found down along Garden Street. Again, further you get from that downtown core the newer the homes seem to be. Most of the area was built up prior to the early 90s and going back as far as the 1800s. The demographics of this area are some younger families and transitioning to older couples, maybe with their kids that have moved out. You do see a higher proportion of renters the closer you get to the downtown core. It's probably about a 60-40 split of owners to renters in this pocket. Here's a look at the schools in this area. So in the northwest part, you have E.A. Fairman Public School. Over close to the Garden Street and the train tracks, there's Julie Payette Public School. And Sir William Stevenson Public School is down in the south part of this neighborhood. Henry Street High School is the high school that services this area here. And you also have a mix of some Montessori schools. And you also have Trafalgar Castle School, a private girls' school, which is located on Reynolds Street. That's just west of Garden Street. What is the commute like getting from downtown Whitby to downtown Toronto? So by car, you're looking at around 43 minutes with no tolls. I'm recording this at 11 a.m. on a Wednesday, so maybe it's a little unfair. Could be... Closer to an hour probably to get down there by car. You can go across the top to Toll Road as well. If you feel like driving north to go back south, it's across the 407 and that'll take you about 54 minutes. By transit, you're looking anywhere from an hour and 14 minutes by via rail to an hour and 30 minutes by bus and go train. As for things to do, there's a lot concentrated right on this little pocket. You've got a lot of great cafes in the area, hair salons, You've got even a spa just on Brock Street here, just, just north of Dundas too. I'd say Whitby is known for its parks and there are a few within walking distance, no matter where you are in this downtown neighborhood. You're also just about a five minute drive from heading down to Port Whitby and the Marina. In terms of grocery stores, again, in the neighborhood, there is a Freshco down on Brock Street. You also could head a little west to Liz's No Frills. You can also go a little bit further east over in this thick scenario there's a sobeys down here as well now it's time to hop into the car and go for a little drive around downtown whippy <laughs> Oh, 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 
And there you have it. I hope that this video has shed some light on what it is like to live in downtown Whitby. If you found the information in this video useful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will be covering more and more Durham region neighborhoods every single week. And remember, if you do have any questions about this neighborhood, about Whitby, Durham region, the GTA, and beyond, please don't hesitate to call me, text me, email me, whatever is easiest for you, because I really do love sharing this great area of Ontario with people just like you. Thanks so much and I will see you next time.